your local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Showers and thunderstorms right now staying away from southwest central and south side Virginia. We've got a line of heavy rain really extending from near Buffalo all the way towards St. Louis, Missouri. This is our next piece of energy that will really get in here as we head into Wednesday. Wednesday, I think, is our best chance for showers and thunderstorms this week with a continued chance for some lingering activity, at least for some as we head into Thursday. So. Future tracker showing overnight tonight. The rest of the night going to be partly cloudy. Patchy fog may form. This is Tuesday at 7 a.m. And you'll notice similar to this morning, we're going to awaken to some sunshine. However, as we head, say, towards noon, 1, 2 o'clock, that's when pop-up showers and thunder showers will start to get going. Initially, I think the best chance will be right along the spine of the Blue Ridge. And that activity may get a little bit more widespread as we head, say, towards dinner time, where hit or miss activity will continue. I do think that by probably 9, 10 tomorrow evening, any thunder showers around will go away. And Wednesday starts much the same way Tuesday does, with at least some sun to enjoy. But the uh, showers and thunderstorms will start a little bit earlier on Wednesday. I'd say by 11 or noon, we're going to start to see some isolated activity. And then by the afternoon, spreading into the evening, we're going to have a better chance, a higher chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. The intensity of the rain going to be a little bit higher on Wednesday than it will be on Tuesday. So let's talk Wednesday. And as far as the storm threats are concerned on hump day, localized flooding will need to be monitored. Again, any storm that forms could be a gully washer for us. A couple of storms could have wind and hail. I don't anticipate any tornadoes Wednesday or Wednesday night with this next cold frontal passage. It's 73 right now in Lynchburg, 76 Roanoke, also at Smith Mountain Lake, not to mention South Boston. You're 70 in Withville and also into Blacksburg. Number of 90 degree days so far here in 2022. We've had 40 of them in Lynchburg, 38 of them in Roanoke and Danville, six of them in Blacksburg. We were able to tack on one additional day in Lynchburg, Roanoke and Danville earlier today. And in Lynchburg, you've had the most 90 degree days through this date since 1943. On average, you have 21 through this date. We've had 40. We've almost doubled the amount that you usually see in any given year up to this date in the Hill City. Some perspective for you. However, <laughs> cooler air is coming in. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but it will happen late this week into this weekend. Your weekend forecast calling for cool mornings and warm afternoons not hot afternoons. As a matter of fact, Saturday highs in the upper 70s and low to mid 80s on Sunday. I think temperatures will range between 79 and 85. Very humid until we can have cold frontal passage. It is so muggy out there right now, but that drops too. Temperatures drop late this week. Humidity levels drop late this week, such that by the weekend it's going to feel pretty dry outside for us. It's going to feel a little more refreshing to be outside as we head into Friday, Saturday, potentially even into Sunday. Fog is possible again tonight with overnight lows 65 to 73 for tomorrow. We could certainly have some hit or miss thunder showers developing from lunchtime on. Otherwise, it's going to be warm and humid highs in the mountains in the 80s and lower 90s outside the mountains. We're looking at highs upper 80s uh, to perhaps uh, the middle 90s. All right, here's a look at that extended forecast. 88 Wednesday, 86 Thursday. Talked about those temperatures dropping into the lower 80s as we head into Friday and Saturday. Good chance for rain Wednesday. Leftover thunder showers on Thursday, especially in areas south of 460. Then we're going to see more sunshine and dry things out a bit Friday into the weekend.